Evening all, and welcome back to Timberborn here with our Iron Teeth Beavers who are still breeding like mad. And, uh, well, they're not breeding, the pods are breeding like mad. And we're still, we're still, oh, we're down to 96. Okay, things, things are getting a bit better. Uh, we are out of water, so we need to possibly look at that. But it's not serious. We've only got two days left of this drought, and we've got plenty of water for it, so we're going to be okay. Um, we've got our grain stored here, that's good. Um, generally everything is good. I'm kind of waiting for these trees to be grown because um, we need to store logs. We got some logs. Okay, shall, shall we start this project over here? Shall we start this? Seems like a good idea. What do we need? We need 3, 6, 9, 12. 15, 18, 21, 210 wood. We do have wood over here as well. And we do have uh, an export for wood. No, we don't have an export for wood. We export for planks and export for explosive. What are our limits? 50. 100 bread. Okay. Um, are we actually sending... Oh, we are sending bread over to District 1. So, everyone's got nutrition. Awesome. Everyone has nutrition. Fantastic. Don't have spirituality down here. We could fix that fairly easily as well. Let's do that first. Let's fix the spirituality. We'll put a temple up here. Because that's 120 wood. And that's probably better use of our wood than... Um, put it back here. Uh, no, we'll put it... Put it there, because then the path can go to there and down this way, should we need it to come this way for whatever reason. I don't know what, but maybe. Maybe it will. Who knows? How is this region doing for people? Let's see here. We've got 21. We've got two unemployed beavers. That's okay. But this region person has four beavers. It really only needs like one in it anyway, so that's fine. Would like to put a few breeding pods here. Be honest, I would I would like to, um, and try and keep this population at probably around thirty. We only have twenty four houses, so we have to do something more with that. But let's uh, let's also do them. Let's also do some breeding pods, um, and we'll put two in over here. Boom, and boom, there we go. Now berries are stored right over here, but the breeding pods will be over there. That's fine. I can't really put them back here anywhere because there's no way to get up to do things. So. Yeah. Okay, that's built. Breeding pods are going. That's cool. Should we require any more houses? We will require some more houses at some point. We'll figure out where to put them. I'm not too sure. We could always put a house up here. Um, and uh, put stairs up to it. Um, because then these stairs could go straight up to the house. And come down to here and come along and go up here for the storehouse. Which means they're walking around. It's a bit longer. But, it, I mean, it's an option. It is an option. Uh, we also have other options, like we could can we get a house there, the bridge on the river. We have options. I just want to keep it somewhere near this labour monument. So we want to do it either behind or around it or something. Put houses over here. We have options. We have options. But but now I finish sneezing. We. Want we'll to connect this, and then this reaches all the way over here, just about to get these done. So this is going to be the priority. This is the first one we're going to build. Uh, oh, we also want to build. Oh no, that, that has built. That has been built. Oh, so that's the priority. Build that one first, then that one, then that one, then that one, and these three are all over priority. So yeah, this should be good. It won't be done. The, the drought is over. We are now filling our lake here. Uh, oh, we're also doing explosionness over here. Let's 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 whilst they're being built, let's do explosionness, shall we? But don't explosions are probably ready over here too. Yes, they are. We can continue with our river. Awesome. Let's continue with the river. So we're we'll starting a little kaboom. There we are. Okay, so that's deep enough to be our river. Gonna run a path along for the minute. It's, it, the path is not gonna stay there. The path is not gonna stay there. And we wanna go down here. We need to go down and make sure it stays in a little ravine. So, 
That means we need to blow that up, that up, and that one. Realistically. Otherwise it would pour over on this corner here. We could build something here, but I kind of like digging rather than blowing, rather than, uh, than not. That makes sense. <laughs> put a, a path in down the edge. We also need to put in a uh, temporary staircase into there so that they can uh, get in there and do that. Let's make that a priority. And I also need to look at how far our range is going because we are getting to the edge of it. I'm really hoping we can get... To, I don't mind just dropping onto here. I don't want it to go along here because it could come along here and flood this. But if we can just blow that up so it can drop onto this one, it can just fall onto here, it can pour into here and it will pour into the river and everything will be fine. That will be happy. Would like to channel it out at a later date. Right now, fine with it just being this way. Okay, more explosives are coming. We're good for food. Bread, we're okay for. Um, is the bread situation due to um, other things? Uh, we don't have any berries being sent out here. We need some berries. We need some berries. So would you please distribute? Right, what are we distributing? We're distributing planks, dynamite, metal. Do we need metal anymore? Yeah, it's all right to have, I suppose. But would you take berries, please? Yes. And we're going to actually say our limit for berries is going to be... Uh, 50, 50 is okay. 50 is okay. And it was pointed out in one of the... Um, uh, in the comments to one of the earlier videos to this, somebody's been watching it, that the reason they were eating berries is because um, it's closest to some of their houses. That's possible. I've not really observed that, if I'm honest with you. Um, I've kind of found that beavers, they, they tend to, they, they try and find nutrition three, then nutrition two, then nutrition one. If they can't find any of those, then they go for berries. But their hunger... Um, so when the hunger's high, they try and look for these. In the, that's what my experience of this so far is that they will always try and find bread. You know, once the hunger goes down, they go bread first. Then they'll go for um, uh, potatoes. Then they'll go for carrots. And if there's none of that, then they'll go for hunger. So I don't. I mean, if that were the case, we would be using up a lot more berries than we are. I mean, look at these fields. These are all grown. And all these people here in these ones, all the beavers in these ones, beavers in that one, beavers in that one, this is the closest food storehouse. So, it's not what I'm observing. Because if that was the case, they wouldn't get any of the nutrition. So, from my understanding is that they always go for, they go for the best food, then the second best food, then the third best food, then berries is the last food they aim for. So, I'm guessing we run low on carrots at some point, which was possible. We had a few carrot fields, so they went here instead. Um, perhaps I don't. I don't really know the truth about that. You may be right, but I haven't observed that. I haven't. My my, my observations have always been that um, it's been food first and berries last. So I don't know why they were eating the berries, but they were eating the berries. So perhaps you are right. Perhaps you are right. All on that. Okie dokie. Below that up. Kaboom. And then um, we want to dig down. Well, we probably want this going down two, don't we? Just there. You can drop down by two. Then it comes in here. So and then we put our water wheels all inside this channel. And everything will be good. So we no longer need that. Thank you very much, Jillian. Um, we probably will not have this path here. Because our water wheels will connect this side. Because this is where the power is going to sit right in here. And also, it might make this another district. I might make this up here, the power, with the forest on top, because we're going to probably level this up and put forest on top, and the woodcutters and the forester, its own district, so like the power district, and then have them move food in from elsewhere. Um, which Usually, I build a second distribution post for that. You don't have to. These can deal with 10, 10, uh, ten roots. But I find that building a second one and going right, so this one goes down to district one, uh, two, 
and then the second one goes over to this district then it, you can differentiate between the two what goes where what goes here it's just it's just easy to follow at least for my brain it's easy to follow i don't know they had a symbol above their head then and i don't know what it was hmm. flooded flooded buildings flooded buildings why are we getting flooded buildings Water's coming. That's strange. Why is more water coming in here than usual? That does not normally flood. It could be backflow from this. Could be we block these off and it's just backflowed a little bit. I don't know. But they're building it. They are building it. Oh, okay. The river is going good. The uh there we go. Right. So now when we block this here. The water will flow out of these and go that way and this way. It will slow our flow down, so it might affect some things down here a little bit. But that's okay because we've got this huge reservoir which we're going to make deeper here anyway. And we can always just change the level of these sort of as and when required. But if I open that one up and then close these ones, so we'll just point through that one corner one there. Kind of wish I'd have put this in a different place now, or more importantly, put the canal in a different place kind of wish I'd have done that. Put the canal one further over. Because, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Why are we getting big flows of water? That is bizarre. It is... I mean, it can't be this. It can't be this, because this is only down low. This is, hasn't even flooded back here yet. So... Okay, we'll, we'll open... We'll synchronise them all. There we go, and we have them all, we'll, we'll just open the lot, open the lot, go on, go on, flood through, flood through, lower that down, and then we'll open it, we'll, we'll do it back to 0.5, there we go, so you can pour over, and that's fine, and you can still pour into here, and this way, should have put a floodgate here, so we can cap this off from the rest of the world, that's not, not a dam, I could still do that, could put a floodgate there, and um, cut a floodgate there. Could replace that down with a floodgate. And just unsynchronize it from all these. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Let's delete that. It does mean the water's going to backflow. That's fine. That's fine. Not a problem. Um, let's get a single floodgate. And let's put it in facing the opposite direction. So we know it's different to the rest. And then that one, we can shut off um, as we need it. And then these ones, we can just leave at 0.5. And then shut them off when when it's needed as well. You know, but we'll just uh, yeah. So that one can just stay open, which means that water is going to pour out this way. Uh, yeah. Is it? That's not what I expected to happen. I expected water to go in there. Hmm. 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 No water's coming in here now. Have I got this terribly, terribly wrong? Have I messed this up completely? Feel like I might have messed this up completely. Possibly, because water's not flowing in here anymore. We need water to come in here. Uh, but it is not doing that. If I block that off, that's just going to flood everything, isn't it? Yep. And if I open that, That's letting water out this. I'm confused by that. If that one's closed and this one's open, why is it letting water out this way? Unless it's doing the hole, it can get through the corner. Which I thought we discovered it couldn't do. I, I, I'm confused. confused. Very confused. Don't know. Don't know. I think that needs rebuilding. I think we need to um, blow this back further right here blow it back further here um 
and then put the put the gates in there and leave the bridge there put the gates in there leave that floodgate there or possibly put the floodgate back here and then the floodgate will be on the reservoir not in line with everything so i think that's probably the way to go about it don't know do no do no no do no no okie dokie right so i want to blow this flat so i can put more stuffs up here which does mean removing this rope which is fine but we're not going to remove the rope just yet what we're going to do instead is we're going to go like this and like this that that and that and that and they these are too far away from anywhere aren't they no, these are too far away okay that's fine because we'll run a path along and we'll put some stairs in over here allow all of these to become in range hopefully of our town center is yeah that should do it that should do it make that priority make that priority build the thing okay let's come down here and have a look see what we're doing over here okay not three well that one built okay so now we want to make sure that one gets built before that one because otherwise they might not be able to get in there So long wait for them to come, so they are uh, obviously suffering a bit with food and things like that. So how are we doing with population? Let's have a look see. So we have 22, we have one unemployed person, that's fine. All the jobs are full apart from our distribution post, that's fine, that's not a problem. How are you doing for population? You have um, 87, so our pop is actually going down, that's good, because we have 16 unemployed beavers. We have a scavenger flag apparently turned off. Zero of one. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All our metal supplies turned off. Then that will become a different district at some point soon. Um, but I really need to get some more bread and stuff going as well. So, next project. Once uh, this is done, we will we will um expand our bread making facilities because I feel like we have enough grain to do it. Although the grain's only at 200, but uh, normally I would have this set on plant, so they're not harvesting the way they are. I might put a second farmhouse in. Probably don't need it. Probably don't need it really, but I'm going to. There. Yeah, put a second farmhouse in. And then that can all that and they both can be set to planting so they plant the crop and they'll just get the wheat in quicker and the quicker they get the wheat in the quicker they plant new wheat and the quicker they plant new wheat the quicker it goes so the more of everything you get which is exactly what we want yeah something is going on with this float something weird is going on with this float because i keep seeing this normally it's pouring like this and every now and then like that but there's extra flow coming from here and i don't get it because there's nothing influencing this flow here we're not changing things yet ah we still quite don't quite have enough um range here let's fix that like so there we go okay okay what are you doing? Punk it all materials. Requires logs and plants. Don't have enough logs. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, you're now going to be set to planting. Uh, you're a low priority because you're not going to be required anytime soon. But we need logs. We don't have any in District 2, do we? No, we have none. So that project will be finished soon, but not now. We are we are gonna be soon, hopefully. Uh you're twenty-fourth. Okay, so the uh, next um ah next drought is coming. That's a shame. Um I I, I wanna do this during the drought, so then when it it um restarts the water can flow whichever direction it wants to go and we'll see how it works. Uh 
we can turn off these three lumberjack factories for a minute. Not that we're struggling for people up here, if I'm honest with you. We've got 20 unemployed people. That's not a problem. Uh, you've got loads of people inside you. That's fine. Um, hopefully they can build that. Hopefully they can build that. And we'll be good. Our science is coming on nicely. How, what, do we, what do we need to unlock the for science wise? We're going to unlock the water dump. That's, that's, that's not a great thing, that water dump. Um, printing press would be good as well. We could definitely do something with that. Um, but I think this district is going to become basically power, forestry, and metal. We're going to run metal as well. Um, so that might involve getting rid of the engine here and moving it up here. Um, but as I said, we do have 20 people, 20 unemployed beavers. That's 20 beavers running around in, uh, in Power Wolves. We could, we could build 20 of those and have 20 beavers running around in Power Wolves. Giving us a thousand horsepower. You know, Power Wolves are awesome. I, 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 there seems to be people who don't like them and I'm confused. Why, 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 you know, Power Wolves are awesome. They're fantastic things. No unemployed beavers in this district. Oh. Oh, that could be a problem. Well, we're going to pause that. And we're going to let him chop down all the trees. And then once he's chopped down the trees, we're going to replace them with maple trees. Yes, they take a lot longer to grow, but they are way more wood. Um, and what we can do is uh, set up another distribution here. Say, send log. Okay set our distribution limits for logs to yeah 50 so always bring 50 over if we haven't got any you've got explosive and metal blocks but you have nothing else without any berry see this could be a case of beavers eating the berries here because there is no character until like that either so maybe we should up our food limit so carrots should go to 100 Real potatoes should go to 100, and bread is already at 100. No, 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 zero. Um, real potatoes, 100. And carrots, just in case. I don't think we're ever going to tell them to leave, but I just want to make sure we keep food behind. Oh, and berries were up to 100 as well. And we'll always keep 100. There we go. That means that warehouse is going to fill up because it can only store 200 goods and we're now asking it to bring in 300 goods. So we do need a new food warehouse, which is a shop here in the UK. Uh, so let's not build a food warehouse, let's build a food storehouse because that's the different thing. A large warehouse for food. Uh, but where do we put it? Where do we put it? Put it over here. Away from the houses. That's fine. This one is just for flour, isn't it? We can build another one over here and make that flour and then make that a store one so it's closer to the houses. That makes sense. Uh, I suppose that would make sense. Possibly make sense. Possibly not. I'm not sure. Let's put more workers in there because you are distributing way more goods than you were before. You have seven routes going on. Fine. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're done. We are done. We're in a drought. I know, drought is incoming. Uh, I'm going to shut this right up. I'm going to shut that right up. And, uh, yeah. Um, and let this all, I'm going to let this flow down to 0.5. That's fine. In fact, do you know what? We're probably going to let it flow down more than that because I want to empty this because we're going to blow things up. So. So we might open that even further and let it go down, flow into here more. Cool, this is flowing back up here. It doesn't fall off the map up here, it just comes to a stop. We have loads of green area up there. That is good. Okay, the water flow has kind of stopped. So we can open this and just let the water come out and flood the whole land, which is fine. Um, it will go down the river and flood into here. And then that will in turn flood out down here. But this will all store the water because this is now storing water because we have a great big dam which I think even if I opened it to 0.5 now would not let any water out 
No, we didn't manage to fill the whole reservoir. But we have, we have huge reservoir. Things are good, things are good. So if we move these down here somewhere, we could actually choose to enlarge our, our little reservoir here. Or we can just get rid of them and just have this one giant reservoir, which I'm kind of tempted to do, and then just blow out. Like a section, we'd have to get rid of that. That's fine. But just blow out a section all the way along. Um, make it deeper. Make it deeper there. Blow out this section here. Just make it, make it as wide as, as that there. Um, and they're on platforms on. Yes, they're on platforms because they're poked out there. But we could make it wider along here, and then put pumps in elsewhere, and that that would still work really well. Kind of like that idea of having a giant, giant area to do that in. Um, so once I blow these down, stuff I need to blow out these two all the way down, and then these four all the way down if we want to square it off there. But don't. Um, then the river that's squared off there becomes a bit thinner here and then widens up and becomes a giant reservoir. Yeah! That's a lot of explosives. We are not really making a lot of explosives. We're making enough. Not really a ridiculous amount of explosives. We do have 1,200 planks. We're going to stop our plank works. Um, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to start our gear works and stop several of our planks doing their things because we don't need to be converting all the logs into planks that's fine that's fine okay so there we go. that has dried out awesome 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 so let's level the top kaboom level the top kaboom and then we just need to blow this up blow that up down by two which I will do between episodes and then we'll come back once the water starts flowing again and we'll see how our river goes so thank you all very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun